Now, I have one other demonstration of the same principle. Uh, here I have a little ring of aluminum, again, not at all attracted to a magnet. And if I lower this down over a coil, several hundred turns of wire, it's connected back here to the wall socket. And if I turn it on and then energize this magnet, an electric current will be induced in here, making it magnetic. That magnet will be repelled by this magnet, and we'll see what happens. That was pretty fast, so let's do it again. OK. Would you like to see it go higher? OK. Turns out there is a way to do that. If we take a bar of iron and put it here, the iron concentrates the magnetic field and makes it go up higher. So let's try it with the iron. Once again. OK. Now, would you like to see it go even higher? Yeah. Well, it turns out there's a way to do that. If I take this ring and cool it to the temperature of the liquid nitrogen, it turns out it will now become a better conductor of electricity. Most materials become better electrical conductors when you cool them down. And in fact, aluminum becomes about a seven times better conductor of electricity when it's at the temperature of liquid nitrogen than it is at room temperature. And as a result, the electric current that is induced in it is much larger. And therefore, it is a more powerful magnet. And so when I lower it down over the iron core and energize it again, we would expect to see it perhaps go even higher. So let's try that. Oop. Well, that was pretty high. Maybe we should try that again. You want to see it again? Yeah. OK. OK, we'll do anything for science. We'll see how high we can make it go with the iron and cooling it down to this very low temperature. 